Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of Paul's DIY and in this one we're going to be customising a 19 inch Iron Man figurine and for this custom build I did a full respray, I did a, a, re a spray of primer and then a full spray of gloss paint and then went in and touched up all the details. It's probably one of, most, one of my most advanced uh, customs to date, but really it's been one of my um, best ones as well I think and I've really enjoyed doing it so here I, here's how I did it and enjoy okay guys so I've already gone ahead and started to cut out the hole in his chest plate for the lights to go in and light it up I've, I've also taken this figure apart already uh, just to see the inside and see where I can mount the battery pack for the lights now the head is being a bit stubborn but I am going to have to try and prise it off because I do want to put LED lights into the helmet to light up his eyes as well. Ok I did manage to finally prise the helmet off and cut out the eyes and it was a pain as you can see here uh, to cut out a lot of the plastic on the inside of the helmet just to get the eyes cut out. Now my original plan as you'll see here is I was going to put masking tape over the eyes and then cut into the eyes here as you can see to get the shape of the eye and then I was going to use some um, milk bottle as I used use the same on the uh, armoured batman I was going to cut out a small rectangle from a milk bottle plastic milk bottle and just slot it into the eyes since uh, doing since then I have uh, changed tactics and I'm using the same technique that I use for the smaller um, Armored Batman, the 12 inch Armored Batman. Uh, I'm actually going to use masking tape that you can see here, and I'm just going to tape that on the inside of the eyes uh, from the inside facing out, and then the LEDs will light through. So, uh, now, cut out the chest plate for the LED lights, and I've also cut out a hole in the bottom. That, would, that is where the button will be for the lights to turn it on and off and next step is to take them all out, all pieces outside now give them a spray with some primer the arms and the legs and the feet and the body uh, give them a spray with primer and then I'll give them a spray with Rust-Oleum's Painter's Touch Gloss Spray Paint As you can see I have gone ahead and put masking tape on the inside of the eyes I've also painted the inside of the helmet white just to help the light reflect. Okay, I'm currently installing the LEDs for the chest plates and the eyes for the 18 inch Iron Man. And I've taped in the battery pack there in the middle, and as you can see, the switch is on the bottom there. And the reason I put it there is just so that it's out of sight. You can't, once the figure is standing up from the front and the back, you can't see the switch. So these are the LEDs I'm using. And I've taped four together, and they are going to be taped to the inside of his back, pointing forward, like so. And they're going to light up the chest plate. And then I have another four here that are going to stick at the top of his neck like so and they will light up the two eyes in Iron Man's helmet ok that's the LED lights now taped in I've got four here they're taped in and facing forward directly in line with the chest plate and they will light up that up and then I have four there that point upwards and will light the eyes up. All taped in using black tape, powered up by two AA batteries, again that's just taped in so I can easily get it out and change the batteries and as I mentioned the button to turn it on and off is underneath there, out of sight. So now it's time to put it back together. Okay I have uh, sprayed the entire body with the Rustovium Painter's Touch red paint, uh, red spray paint, and I've gone ahead and started painting the uh, helmet with the gold 
paint as you can see here that's the figure fully sprayed with the rust oleums and I'm just going to go in and do all the detail. Guys, the spray paint didn't adhere to the figure in all of, all parts. You can see it is started to bubble slightly, and it bubbled on his hands and on his thighs as well. Luckily, the gold paint has covered up the majority of it, uh, but it does show through on his arms there and on the inside. Luckily, it's on the inside, as you can see. But when his arms down, it kind of can hardly notice it. It happened the same on that arm. It only bubbled for some reason on his hands and on his arms there and on his thighs, uh, on his legs, on his thighs. Uh, the inner thighs were okay but on the legs all the bubble. Um, originally the original colour there was gold so I've just pretty much gone over what was gold in the first place. Um, to but that just was mainly to cover up the bubbling but other than that the rest of the figure is okay there's slight bubbling on the boots I think I may have not let the primer dry long enough but lesson learned next time I do a full custom me spray paint like this I'll definitely make sure I leave the primer to dry for longer than a couple of hours. So thanks for watching, if you've got any questions on how I did this guy, uh, any questions whatsoever, please leave a comment below, please like and subscribe, and I shall see you for the next video. Cheers!